uh, what's the li- cost of living at Neva close to New York? Because mm-hmm. I'm sure it's very costly in the whole mm-hmm. of US. I think so. So if you can help me out the rental cost, yeah. you know, the basic for the, the mobile, the Wi-Fi, whatever it is. So I will say initially, in my experience, I was living at a, like a student living, not the dorms that are associated with the school, but it's a student apartment near here. That's just a private business that just operate. And there I was paying like thirteen nineteen a month, which was a lot. Yeah. But there expenses, utilities and whatnot were included. Now I'm in an apartment more near the school, still in Newark, that I'm paying around 1200 here. And then utilities, at least for us, is turning out to be like $100 per person. I'm living with one other person. And then Wi-Fi is about maybe like 80 bucks total a month, which if I divide it with my other roommate is 40. So I would say it's very hard to live by yourself here um, if you don't have at least one roommate. But in Harrison, which is really close to Newark, and it's actually even better to live there. It just hasn't worked out for me. I found this really good apartment in Newark, but I would have definitely moved to Harrison. In Harrison, you can have maybe a little bit more roommates or not, and you can be paying like I don't even think it gets to a thousand dollars. I don't know what okay. the utilities look like there, but I do know like I have friends that are paying like six hundred, seven hundred dollars. So it's definitely doable if you live in Harrison. And I will say Harrison is much safer and it's just nicer. There's a lot more restaurants, there's a lot more of a community vibe, and it's maybe like a twenty minute walk to and from school. So um from Rutgers, I would you know, it, it's expensive, but definitely manageable.